Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 right. games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second <laughs> directly to you through Twitch, live, or YouTube if you're watching it later. But make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Uh, we have five games today. Yay! Three of them are Pong, but there's five <laughs> games today. <laughs> Just different um, kinds of pong. That's right. <laughs> Very different types of pong. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be including them if they were just back and forth pong. Good. So they are quite, quite the variations okay, on it. So that's good. <laughs> um, and we have a brand new game. It's like hours old. Um, Canonica by VHZC. Oh. Is just making tons of games. He's, he's he's going crazy. He is yeah, going crazy. Someone's drinking the Red Bull all night. I don't know what's <laughs> going right. on there. Staying up late. <laughs> making the games. Yeah. Um, the three Pong games we have are Mondo Pong, Flap Ping, which was Joust Pong, Joust. and uh, Pong Combat. Mm. And then we're going to be looking at Robotron 2084, a new update for it. Um, very exciting. And we're going to be trying out um, the Xbox controller on it, which has two sticks. Oh, yeah. Right on it. Yeah, someone yeah. suggested that will work. So, yep. so we're going to try that out uh, and, kind of and take a look at the new yeah. updates. Cut yeah. to Robotron. Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> Getting there. I want to thank all the Twitch <laughs> subscribers for supporting the show. Uh, Al Nefer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chuck, Dianoid, Gradams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Cubis 6969, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Packer, VGRC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet Sir Cat Leg, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esmeres 2008, The D Train 37, Welsh Mini 9, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, they're right down the side here, mm -hmm. but I read them out for you. Um, and you can support the show too and subscribe um, for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime mm -hmm. and click subscribe like all those people did. Um, make sure you also follow us on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can be watching live. We do broadcast live twice a week on Twitch. Or you can watch it after if it's inconvenient. <laughs> um, so, mail news and feedback. Uh, news is that we have a wonderful cake over Yay. here. What is this cake for? Can, we, can people see it? Uh, no, not gonna be easy. Um, you could hold it under that camera. I don't know if people will be able to see. Blocking up. One. up, 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 up. There we go. Yay. It says happy 12th anniversary. Yay. It's our wedding anniversary. It's our today. wedding anniversary today, and we thought we would share it with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and I want cake. <laughs> and we want cake. Cake cam. Yeah, 30 subscribers. Yeah. Very well. Very good. Yeah. And 12 years of weddings. Of weddings. <laughs> 12 years after the wedding. And, 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 um, so yes, we've been married 12 years. Yes. And both being typically very organized. logical, organized people. Um, uh, May 27th is not only our wedding anniversary, it's, it's the 13th anniversary of our engagement. Yes. And the 14th anniversary of our first date. So yeah. makes it easy. You don't have to. We, we were all about just having one date to remember. So yes. we've been together 14 years and we've been married. May for 27th. So. May 27th. <laughs> May 27th. It's not only logical and easy to remember. It's also romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so it all works out. Although really my parents well. didn't think it was that romantic when we had our, our wedding on a Monday Monday afternoon. But anyway, you, know, you can't win them all. <laughs> it's for us, not everyone else. Yeah, that's right. You are invited, but it's not for you. <laughs> that's very that's funny James in a nice way. That's perspective, at least, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the 12th anniversary of Zero Page Homebrew. No, not quite there yet. Two, two years. Two, two and a bit for Zero Page Homebrew. Yeah. Congrats. Now I'm going to look around for something cake-like. Yeah. <laughs> playing games since the beginning. Oh, yeah. Forever. Playing yeah. games. Yeah. And playing Video games, games together, games. too. Yes, that's right. So, um, go ahead, cut the cake. I'll cut the cake. Because I am... It smells so yeah. good. It, it's a oh. hazelnut chocolate cake. So, it basically smells like Nutella in here right now. So. Can you smell it? Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it does smell like Nutella. Oh, so good. Um, and we have some unboxings to do. 
This one is from David, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Love this shirt too. Old format storage. Yep, never forget. And these are not good storages about forgetting because you put magnets near any of these and, they're gone. and you're done. <laughs> floppy disk, a three and a half floppy disk, a VHS, and a cassette. Um, I have put all my cassettes, self-made cassettes, over to digital. Most of my VHS is over to digital. I have a couple more. And I have to work on my C64 um, five and a quarters, putting them over to digital. Because I have some stuff that maybe nobody else has. It's doubtful. But at least my own stuff I need to um, push over. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot to read out all the people's names. Let's do that first. What? Um, Scott of the Hall, Nathan ah. Strom, welcome. Okay. Kev Kelly, Pack Rat VG, Esther Mares 2008, Ricardo Pim, Cafe Man 2D, I said that. D Train 37, Alan the Fur, Dan ABC. I was too excited about the cake. Um, Pack Rat VG, <laughs> Hoopy Mac. Uh, Splendid Nut, I supposed to, S. Ramirez 2008, I think that's the third time I've said his name, Smitty B 7800, Dedicated Lurking 9 to 5. Mm. Uh, you must be He's lurking most lurker. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, MK Smith, Cafe Man 2D, I think that's it. Hi everyone, hello, hello, here's our cake without mm -hmm. a fork. Can I have a fork please? Oh, please. you have to use your hands. Please. Like mm. at, her, at her wedding. It smells exactly like the scratch and sniff stickers from the <laughs> 70s and 80s, the chocolate one, which I always thought never smelled mm. like chocolate, oh but in God. fact, it smelled like Nutella the whole time. Mm. It's a wonderful bakery in Vancouver called Edible Flowers. Oh my God. It tastes like Nutella. That's a lot of nutty flavor. It's so good. Unfortunately, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there, there could be enough for everyone if we sliced it small, but mm. it would take a while in the mail. <laughs> um, coffee. And it would not be so good when it arrived. We did like... make enough for everyone. so <laughs> Just really small pieces. Yeah. So let's take a look at what's in this. I kind of know what this is. At first I had, didn't know what it was. Um, and now I think I do. See if I can read this out. Um, just says thank you because I bought these, so no, it's not a present. <laughs> it's a present. <laughs> it's you. a present you buy for yourself. That's, That's all right. Good. Yeah. Um, mm. Now what these are, and most of the people here have probably seen these. Mm. These are not Activision patches. <laughs> They're Activision patches, but not Activision patches. So I got an Activision Fishing Derby, the Master Baiter uh, patch. <laughs> These are not real patches. Because ne one was never made for Fishing Derby. Let's see. And the Activision says, you suck patch. <laughs> right there. I deserve that one. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and this person is all, all over the... the um, Facebook awesome. uh, Facebook pages, so you see this all the time. They're from ActivisionPatches.com, mm. um, and the you suck one comes with a letter. It says, "Dear loser at every game by Activision, you have managed to score lower than the required minimum for every single patch we offer. <laughs> Perhaps you're missing the point. <laughs> you're supposed to score equal to or better than the scores we list in the game manuals, etc., etc." And um, these are real patches, mm -hmm. and you can um, actually put them on things, which I'm not going That's to awesome. do, because <laughs> that would <laughs> ruin them. Awesome. And um, so these are the first of many patches that I'm going to buy, mm. and that's why I'm working my way through all the Activision patches. Mm. Um, I realize that I need the You Suck patch, so you can uh, yeah. check him out. Um, he may have more. Mm. ActivisionPatches.com. They're very, very well made. Mm -hmm. Like they're, they're really good patches. They're, yeah, like fully embroidered patches. Yeah. Yep. Have another bite of cake. Yeah, yeah. Do we go it. on. I'm gonna have to bring the cake back and put it back in the fridge. It's gonna start. Oh, did you make that, Nathan Strum? The you suck patch. That would not be surprising. That's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
I don't know, Nathan Strum designed the use sock patch and wrote the letters some years ago. And somebody actually turned them into really nice patches. Yeah, very they are very cool. nice patches, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. So I had scissors this time. Last time somebody <laughs> complained about my box opening skills, mm. which were very poor on that show. I, I do agree. It was very slow opening that. Get off my finger. Now, I know what this is, too, because it says on the outside. <laughs> Because when you ship from one country to another, you yeah. have to tell you the people have to at say the border what you're, what you're, what you're sending out. They want to know what's inside mm -hmm. most of the time. I mean, not that it has to be completely accurate, but still. No, it just has to be somewhat descriptive <clears throat> of what it is. Now, these are really exciting. I think they're really exciting. I think they're really exciting, too. Because <laughs> they're ours. Here it is. Zero page homebrew mug. Mug. Oh, that's fairly faded out on the camera. Very washed out. That's it's a little bright. bit darker uh, in person, but not too much. So, yeah. this is the cat, the cat mug. Mm -hmm. You have to wash this before using it. Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> so it's got Atari there. Yeah. And Pixel there. Yeah. And we got one of each. Of the two mugs. Now these were the first things to come. We also ordered a pillow and t-shirts. T-shirts and the t-shirts well. haven't arrived yet, but that's okay. We got the mugs even, like right away. T-shirts haven't even shipped yet. Yeah. So. Don't know what's happening with that. And this is the full logo. Zero go. page homebrew logo. Probably. Oh. Better? There we go. Slowly very down. bright. I'm going to turn bright. it down. Really? It's very bright. Plus the little uh, things are It's pretty good. I like yeah. this one. This one centered quite nicely for the... It does, yeah. Yeah. And I wanted the other one to wrap around. Yeah, this one's um, good for wrapping around because it's quite big. So those... Aww, they're so cute. And we've got t-shirts too. If you like those things, um, hmm. I'm going to post no, that link. Dangerous. My Zero Page Homebrew tea is supposed to arrive tomorrow. Mm. You're going to get it before us? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you're in the U.S. probably. Yeah. And we're in Canada, so it takes a little bit Where longer. Can I, put these? can I put these under here? Um, you can lay them down. There. Sure. I'm going to take the cake upstairs. So, okay. Um, One piece is enough for now. Fridge. Okay. <laughs> and I'll read out the news. Yep. I'll be right back. So those are really, really fun. Got the door. Want me to get it? Uh, it's okay. Oh, the yeah, cats can okay. come in now. Yep. Hey, Shoki 1968. Um, so Atari Age now has a Discord channel, and if you don't know what a Discord channel is, it's kind of, um, it's a place to chat, you can do voice, you can do video now, um, and it's got pretty much all the same categories as the forum does. So if you wanted to go in and chat with like-minded people that hang out in the Atari Age forums, you can now go to the Discord channel. And Albert posted about this yesterday, and he set it up yesterday, and I think it was like the fifth person to be in there. Um, we've set up an Atari Age Discord server, which has been a common request for the last year or so. To join the server, you'll need the following link, and I'll give you the link. You can go in there right now. Didn't post about the show in there, because I don't know how much they would like me spamming every twice a week about the show. But we'll see. Uh, damn, I didn't know there was mugs. I would have done one tea and one mug. I need a new mug badly, though. We can get it next time. Yeah. So there's the Discord channel. Um, if you already have a Discord account, you'll be able to link your forum and Discord accounts. Upon joining the Discord server, your username and avatar from the forum will be carried over. Um, we've created several text channels that loosely mirror some of the forums here. So there's like a general chat channel. There's a homebrew chat channel. There's 2600. 5200, 7800, um, Jaguar, 8-bit, I think. Um, so a whole bunch of stuff. It says, read the rules or we're going to kick you out. Uh, we'll not hesitate to ban people from Discord who are not following the rules. Here is Atari. Oh, I'm going to move the laptop over there now. Make sure it's plugged in after you've got it all set up. Yep, yep. Um, and about 50 people are there as of about an hour ago when I looked. So there's lots of people yeah. to chat with. 
in the Discord channel. Um, so head over there and uh, chat with some people. Um, Spies in the Night 2 update. Uh, Scott Dayton of Neo Games uh, posted uh, on Monday that Spies in the Night 2 looks like a July release. Depends on getting the cartridges made in time. Um, and I think, I believe I read they're going to be going for a limited release, just like last time with the Spies in the Night um, box, when they included a whole bunch of nice bonuses there. And then maybe an unlimited release through Atari Age. So I'm really looking forward to the Spies in the Night 2 mm. full boxed release because they include some fun goodies all the time. They had spy glasses last time, mm. x-ray specs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really noisy. It's like change the battery. No, there is like a barbecue smell outside. So. Oh, the window's open. Yeah. Okay, oh well. Just I deal with it. Um, yeah, and it gave like a little fake money. Have you guys played Bigfoot Family Rescue Homebrew yet? My first homebrew and it's a fun game. No, we have not. Get in contact with me on the Atari Age forums or james at zeropagehomebrew.com or through Facebook, all the other things. Yep, fire, fire on the show live. <laughs> Watch the house burn down live. Um, no, it's just a, it's kind of a smoky, smoky sound here. Uh, speaking of releases, Tower of Rubble's new cartridge art was released, uh, revealed on Monday as well. Al posted the, in the Tower of Rubble thread in the Atari Age forum. So let's take a look at that. Um, beautiful artwork. Let's open up that link. Uh, F11. There we go. There's the Tower of Rubble. Nice. Um, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. um, and made by uh, Dave Dries. You can see in the lower corner. And he is he did the uh, Robot City artwork as well. Similar type of um, style of artwork. Mm. Not, not the same kind of picture, but similar um, method of, of artwork. Um, current plans are for Tower of Rubble and several other games to hit the store in July. So we're looking at a big dump of 2,600 games, and I know one 7,800 game that are coming to the Atari Age store in July. Yay! Uh, Million Molly 20-level uh, demo was released in the Atari Age forum, so now more than just me can play it. Um, so all of you can now play it as well at up to level 20. Um, so you can two play. Is there a typo on it? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Tower of Rubble is incredible. It's a fun, fun game. Um, MK Smith posted, who's, who's here, um, a 20 level demo is now available, which can be played using the wonderful JS7800, which is a uh, browser based 7800 emulator, which runs really well. Um, by Ray Zord. You will find a link at the top of my first post or in the signature. So head over to the Atari Age forums and you can download the Million Molly 20 level demo as well. Oh, and um, the... Oh, I didn't include it in here. Silly. The um, original author of the C64 version of Million Molly mm. uh, messaged me on Twitter mm, mm. and, and saw the show. And um, yeah, so that was, that was really cool. That is cool. That he reached out to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do play on emulator when we have to, when things don't match up, or, or especially or something's some, not working properly. Something's too. not working properly. Yeah. It's not done yet. It's early stages, and you know things aren't quite right. Or seventy eight hundred because there is no right now. We don't have cart an option. <laughs> There's no SD cart for yeah. seventy eight hundred that's yeah. available. Um, Dianoid uh, post on Facebook um, in the Atari twenty six hundred homebrew games. Currently working on a custom ROM generator service for Fool's Gold, where you can upload your own level in a CSV file and get a playable Atari 2600 ROM file back. Levels can be created and export to CSV files using the freely available tiled level editor. Um, so Fool's Gold is a game that he is working on right now, which is um, a port of Load Runner for the 2600, and it's looking really, really good. good. 
let's show this. One second. I think that's what I want to show. Is that all good? No, let's show this. Okay, so this is this Fool's Gold Custom ROM Generator. Um, and so you'll be able to make your own custom levels mm -hmm. for Load Runner, and hopefully he'll be able to incorporate some of those into the final game. Oh, cool. If people make uh, enough of them, or yeah. he'll maybe he'll have a contest. Or uh, take the best ones or take something the best like that. Ones yeah. And make like 10 of the best levels that he gets submitted. So that is really, really cool. I love when that happens. Um, Draconian, uh, Daryl Spice yes. Jr. did that yeah. with his, mm -hmm. and uh, one of my levels was included on that. That's cool. So it's really fun, interactive thing that yeah. you can do with um, the people who love the game. So that's looking forward to that, and mm -hmm. I will definitely try my hand at making a level. Uh uh, down, download Million Molly and rewind to your heart's content. Uh, yes. yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that has the rewind feature in it that we showed off last um, last show or the show before that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into the games now. Uh, the first game is Canonica. Uh, this was released today. Uh, this is by Vladimir Zuniga, a.k.a. VHZC. Um, he posted originally on May 10th about it in Facebook, and he posted in the Atari Age forums today nice. about this game. It is a shooter. Oh, oh. Bye, cat. <laughs> okay, ready? I was just playing Draconian yesterday. That is an incredible game. I love Draconian, mm -hmm. and I love Bosconian, Bosconian in the arcade. Yeah. So much fun. Should I hit go? Uh, not yet. Wait. It has an intro. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can go in Flipped and then you, then there'll be the bin. Down it comes. <laughs> VHZC. Colorful. Canonica. So he has uh, made shooters before. He did a roach in space. Mm. Um, so this is kind of along the same lines. It's a vertical shooter, um, but obviously totally different enemies, different type of um, gameplay. Um, this is a 16K F6 game. He likes to make sure there's lots of room for his endless graphics. <laughs> he's, he's a master at making really, really good graphics. Yeah. And he was showing off. Um, you can go for it. Shoot everything. <laughs> um, and he was showing off his method of making graphics for the 2600. He um, makes them in GIMP, and then he has a, a special export method, PNG, one bit, something, something, something. And then he's then he is able to convert them using a program he has um, um, to be able to import it into his games. And obviously it works really well. Come on, you can get it. It's not even shooting at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, he, other games he's made. Canonica, Dory Me, Draco, Iran, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, Low Res Racer, Ninja Sky, Peril, Aroach in Space. And you can download this right now on the Atari Age forums. So, download that after the show. Um, originally, he said I was a little stuck ideating... Uh, ideating? Uh, new obstacles for Iran, so nothing better for clearing my head than to start a different project. So I started this one today. Canonica. This is on May 10th. A vertical shooter where you use a cannon, hence Canonica, to destroy waves of enemies and some bosses. Pretty similar to a roach in space, like I said. But with static Y position a la Mega Mania. Oh yeah, the roach in space you could move, couldn't you? This one's kind of on a rail along the bottom. Hey, Arena Foot. Mega Mania like. Uh, wait a minute, that doesn't look anything like Pong. No, no Pongs yet. Pong's the second, third, and fourth game. There'll be plenty of Pong to go around. Um, it's a port of an NES game I am writing. So he's making this on the NES and also on the 2600. It's in a really early stage of development. And then he posted today, um, a couple hours ago. Hi guys, I wanted to share the first beta for a shmup game I am programming. 
Uh, it's a port of a game I started to write for the NES some time ago. In the game, you use a robot cannon to destroy invaders with different patterns and designs. You have extra points if you pass a wave of enemies before the time bar, which is the red bar at the bottom, um, is empty. Extra, ever, extra life every 200 points. So you're at 47. Um, six lives max. And it looks like you start with five, because you have five now. Pong night! Yes. Would you say there is a plethora of Pongs? There's a... Definitely a plethora of Pongs tonight. Oh, you ran out of time? Nope. Yeah, there was no... Uh, there wasn't any red light. <laughs> What was this, this this reminded you of um buster brothers buster brothers yeah. yeah when he first posted this he posted a video of it and it included this level and i'm like oh my god buster brothers oh got hit um and buster brothers would be an amazingly fun game on the 2600 but there's a lot of bubbles to keep track of mm -hmm. you have to pull off some champ games tricks to uh have a ton of uh bubbles on the screen like that <laughs> that's so cool mm-hmm Oh, it's got the laughing skull. He is laughing. Thank you, VH Etsy. Because I commented that he should put a laughing skull. Ooh, it turns into a... a fireball. Fireball. Oh, I'm doing terrible this level. <laughs> oh, he's still got four lives. Oh, because he's so far away. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, very Ghost ah. Rider, yes. Yes, it's very Ghost Rider. Turns into a flame. Look at Nick Cage go. Oh, thank you very much, RC70. It's our 12-year wedding 12th, anniversary. 12th anniversary. 12-year? 12 12 year. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's just, a weird way of saying it. Seems very precise. 12-year, <laughs> 12 year, 12.0 years today. 12.0. Happened to fall on a show day. <laughs> thinking of canceling, but we thought no. we'd incorporate it all together. We like playing video games anyway. There's no point in canceling it. We just have cake on stream. That's how it... Oh! oh. oh he's, why is he going after me? It's a very shallow bounce. <laughs> it is a you're, shallow bounce. You're running away from I'm it running like to in a it. cartoon. Like, yeah. Uh, yes, you all get cake. Yes. Yep, just send me your um, address. And I won't send you any cake. Um, it'll be stale by the mm -hmm. time it gets there. It's very good cake. Really good. Yeah. I think we'll be having this one again, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. I find these the hardest. When they just go left to right across the screen, you have to time it so perfectly. You do. When they're high up, you really have to time it out. And they don't necessarily start at the same point. No. So well, you're like... And they shouldn't. Trying to get used to the timing and then it shifts and yeah. It's, it's actually harder than it seems. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. I love the skulls. The 3D blocks here? Mm. Amazing looking. Mm -hmm. And they don't drop down in the middle. They're like... Drop down at a random point. Which is great. <laughs> RC70... Six bags of sugar, closest emote I've got to cake. Well, Ow. this cake has about six bags of sugar in it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, it's coming down right where I am. I think I'm gonna hold down the fire button because that's what's killing me. So we don't know how many waves there are that he's put in. Hmm. We'll just have to see how far we can get. See if we can max it out. Get the end of beta si uh, sign on the screen. <laughs> Do need more lives. I'm doing much worse than you. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. You had four lives up to... Until the last set of bubbles and then they got me right away. No, you went to the shallow bubbles. Not these ones. No, these ones aren't too bad. are awesome. Yeah. When you get too low, you want to get out of the way. Don't be following them. Oh my goodness. Hard. 
way up there, that's why. Yeah, they're harder the, the higher up they are. Harder to time it properly. There we go. Is this the one you're... Yep. Shallow bubbles. Yeah, they're very shallow. Get way out of the way, or go the opposite way. Uh, damn it! <laughs> it's both both on, the on the bubbles. Amazon can deliver it in two hours. <laughs> That's what. Uh, what are they delivering? Scroll, scroll up the scroll up the screen. S. Ramirez. Cake. Amazon can deliver in <laughs> FedEx two hours. the cake. FedEx the cake. I bet that service is not inexpensive. <laughs> A two-hour cake from Vancouver to wherever you are. <laughs> I don't know. It would be fresh, though. So always come from the left? Yeah. Hmm. And you can just stay on the right. And it'll give you lots of time to shoot it. It's an in interesting game. It's interesting seeing a game on the NES and the VCS. The graphic and sound capabilities are so incongruous that it's hard to imagine the different ports being alike. Yeah, but I mean, really it's all about the gameplay. Um, sounds can be different, the graphics can be different, but if the, the speed of the movement and speed of the shots and everything is the same, in kind of the same proportions, you're going to get the same feel from the game. And, um, I mean, I say that all the time about, like, uh, John Champo's games. Um, even, even like, um, Draconian. Mm. I had not really played Bosconian in the arcade mm. for like decades, but I played Draconian a bunch when it came out, and then I went to the arcade and I was doing awesome on um, Bosconian because it plays just about the same. I think there's only one major difference is when the enemies come in on the arcade, they come in really fast and then slow down right before they get to you, and in um, on the 2600 version they just have a, a, a constant speed. The only part, the difficult part on this one is when they're coming down for the first time, right where you are. Yeah, they are. Right there, yeah. almost got you. And if you're not if you're not lined up properly, they can kind of hit you from the side. No, your bread went down to zero. Yeah, but level. I hit the last one. Let me hit the last one. How many do I have to uh, hit? Is it clear? Uh, nope. Doesn't say. Hmm. So you shoot them till you. They're all done. <sighs> Just doing better last time. <laughs> oh, oh, right no. into me. Oh, oh no. You have to be careful when they're I think that's a quad size sprite. Oh. oh, you're running right into them. I know I'm trying to get under them. If you don't quite hit them properly. Just in time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't get any bonus for extra time left over. You just... I don't know. I haven't seen you. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was terrible. Worse than last time. <laughs> Nowhere near a bonus life. Much easier. We're gonna put same Mardi Gras king cakes are shipped from New Orleans via FedEx all the time. Hmm. 
You can ship anything, Oh, really. you do get bonus points. Okay. For time left over. Yeah, you can bet it time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Okay, that's very sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. That's going to take a long time to get through. You gave us pretty big pieces. You know, we're on the air for a couple hours. <laughs> true. Got to keep your energy up. Oh, yeah, it. these ones are the ones that get you. They, I think it's the uh, diagonal motion to make them challenging. You miss them and they hit you. Yes, because you're trying to follow them a bit, yeah. but then they get too low. You get too close. Cats. I don't know. Thanks, Let me neighbor. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's really cool, the skulls. No, somebody banging. She opened the door and somebody's still knocking. There we go. There we go, four lives still. And I think this is the shallow bouncing balls. Yeah. Pass the shallow bouncing balls. Not like that, I won't. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. god. Decent number of lives this level, at least. Yep. Oof. Oof. Stay far. Yay! Yay! We get to what's see what's next? after. What's next? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Keep the auto fire on for this one. Oh my god. It's almost like luck. Oof. Oof. Got ow, you. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Oof. At least it goes over. Unless it's done fast and I got an extra life. Yay. Yeah. Oh no. <gasps> Oof. Oh. It's like the skulls, but three. <laughs> Stay in the middle. Because Maybe. when they come. Oh. Oof. You have to hit the middle one. Oh, good job. Because then at least when they come down, you have a fighting chance. They're like little comets? Oof. Asteroids? Yeah, little comet type guys, yeah. Asteroids. Flaming balls. Falling to Earth. Ready to ex to uh, create the next extin extinction event. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very creative. Yeah. Oh, oh, now they're oh. shooting. Now they're shooting. This is the first enemy to shoot. Mm -hmm, it is. So many. That Oof. is so cool. Wow. Levels are just endless. Oh, oh God. Oh, they're shooting. Get them on the way up. This reminds me of... Um, Shooting bats. Oof. Not Phoenix. Um, somebody in the chat help me out. The I Magic game. I Magic. I Magic. I Magic. No, it's I Magic. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> we found that out. <laughs> that one's not too bad. No. Nope. Oh my god. Demon attack. Demon attack. That's the one. Oh! <gasps> oh! Shooting. They're all shooting now. All of these enemies. They're, They're... All different too, which is so creative. Oh my god. Yeah, very Mega Mania. That's <laughs> for sure. Yeah, auto fire is is highly recommended. Oh, one life. oh the boss! <laughs> the Yay! Boss. Oh. We made it to the boss. Oh god. Squishing boss. Ooh. Whoa, that's fast. It goes red before he he jumps down, so at okay. least you get the warning. Oh, that that's good. Yeah. This is the one you you suggested laugh. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did have other skulls. He did yeah. make those laugh. So. Yeah, those I'm, other skulls are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he laughs if you die. Yeah. Know. It would just be game over. Nice. nice. Oh, ho, he was about to come down. Oh, my goodness. Yay, oh, I yay. looped it. A proper playthrough. <laughs> Woo. Very cool. Coins are different color, though. They are a different color. I can't tell if they're faster. I think they're the same, but they are a different color. Reminds me of Carl, Carl Garrison's Space Game. Mmm. Yeah. There's some some similarities. The Space, space Game had power-ups. Yeah, it's looping. It's looping. Mm -hmm. Going for score now. Well, do we'll you get see. so? How often do you get? Do you just get a new life at two hundred? Every two hundred. Every two hundred. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how much I get for. Something's not too bad. Long it's not because if you get under it correctly, just you can just make yeah. sure you have auto fire on this level. Yeah, that definitely. Ooh, that's what gets you. I was right in between them. That I know. That's the problem. You have to either clear them or um, get right out of the way. Neat. This is such a new game. Oh, yeah. Really great. These games are so creative. I, and, and he's really good at making different types of games, too. Like, mm -hmm. He's got platformers and shooters. Luckily, he makes the exact type of games I love. <laughs> platformers and shooters. Platformers and shooters. Uh, oh, oh, good job. 488. Yeah, very nice sprites. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'd say there should be an animation like animation from Cuphead. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Somebody can make that. <laughs> 2600 version of Cuphead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Okay, so let's move on to the Pongs. And I believe the first one is a paddle game. As per the tra you know traditional Pong. Of course, yeah. how well to navigate the menus with the paddles. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Those. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry. So, well, the first game we're going to be playing for Pong is Mondo Pong. Uh, from 1998, a very, very, very early um, homebrew. And thanks to S. Ramirez 2008 for sending over. Yep, go for it. I think it's me. It's you. Yeah. We can do it. There we go. Which one? Um, sorry, Mondo Pong? Mondo Pong uh, by Piero Cavina. Uh, it's a 4K game. Uh, he also made INV, INV Plus, Mondo Pong, and Oystron. Um, the first one, yeah. Um, and, oh, oh, we may have oh, to emulate this one. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> it doesn't look so good. No. <laughs> it's having a bit of trouble. There are a few issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Well, it's not really okay. No? Can because you emulate? we can't play paddles. On. Oh no! Let me just see. Try something. try to restart it again, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that. <laughs> this might be the PAL version. Yeah, that's Have what you I was turned just it thinking. off and on. <laughs> that's what I was just checking, actually. Oh, I see. Uh, you might want to. Did you take it off the screen? Because it's. Yep. Okay, good. It's Nobody wants crazy. to look at that. Nobody wants to look at that. Uh, let me just load things up on the computer here and see if there is a PAL and non-PAL yeah. version. Mondo Pong. Now that's the one we loaded. It says 252 lines and it says NTSC. Mm. Uh, 252, all three look exactly the same. Mm. Oh. I'm going to try one of the other versions, or? Wow, a little flicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, mouse control. I don't know. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to play two player though. No. I can at least but, sh show it off. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. It just means one of us gets to eat cake while the other plays. That's true. <laughs> More fun if you play together though. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. No. Nothing's happening there. Okay. So we're going to do emulation, uh, just like somebody was asking at the top of the show. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys use emulation sometimes? Yes. Sometimes we have to. <laughs> There's not much choice. Sometimes we're forced to. And this is one of those times. <laughs> Wish I could hand you my cart over the stream. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's way too big. There we go. Got it on the screen. Minimize the chat. Uh, get the sound going. That's very loud. And Stella. Boom. That's the wrong graphic. Why is that not graphic? There we go. Mondo Pong. Very nice. So. Normal. Up to 15. Hard. Yeah, 1 or 15 points. Looks like there's four variations. Mm. So let's just do normal. Mm -hmm. I believe it has AI. Um, is it working? Yeah. I think that's you moving it or no? Okay, it's left and right on the... Oh, it goes through the screen. That's crazy. Yeah, there's no backing because so it's it a just... continuous game. All these crazy. It's, it's all crazy. It's all spinny. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's coming. Oh, Are you it's on coming. The right? I'm on the left. Sorry. Oh, you're on the left. Okay. For everybody out there. Yeah, one's kind of, one kind of hovers and then. Oh, God. oh destroying me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, just show what it looks like. No CPU at opponent. Um, there, there's a CPU opponent. Like, or is there? Did that guy move? Yeah. Well, obviously he moved because he kicked my ass. Oh, no, they're not. He is moving though. Is he moving with me? No. He is moving with me. Oh, I see. That's why. See, the mouse left and right mm -hmm. is controlling the left. The mouse up and down controls the right guy. See, up, down, left, right. Oh, that's... wow. <laughs> you can play against yourself. Yeah, you kind of can. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Oh, no, that's too oh, hard. I don't that's know. too hard. What wins out, left, right, or up, down? Uh, stay tuned to find out. <laughs> that's right. Damn, that sucks. That doesn't work. This is this is just uh, this is the two player. Yeah. Yeah. You can use joysticks with this actually too. Can it you? It reads the joystick, so mm. we'll play with a joystick. See how that goes. So we can play two player. Okay. It's yours. Oh, you can unravel um, that. Yep. getting big enough to need mods today if yeah no kidding yeah that's what i was just thinking it's like oh my god i'm gonna have to get somebody to help us out well i'm very flattered that they think that this channel is important enough that they are gonna get some business <laughs> <laughs> from spamming the people in here mm -hmm. which i don't think they are gonna get a lot of business mm -mm. Okay, so we've got the joysticks plugged in. We may have to define them. We'll see. Okay, so normal. Okay. Nope. You can have an easy game with me this time. This isn't really working. No. 
I don't think it is. Oh! Nope. What did I do? Trouble. <laughs> I didn't realize they were all mapped to things. Trouble. Yeah, don't press all the other buttons. Yeah. They are mapped to things. Um, let's see. Input. Is this where I map everything? Yeah. Can I map paddle zero turn left to okay left it might actually work right this will be this will be terrible but uh, it'll be something we should have done up and down anyway it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> okay so let's try this No, 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 <laughs> not, not, not quite. That doesn't work so well. Maybe, uh, it's panel two and three. Could I have to go up? Up. Down. You had two though, didn't you, or? Kind of working. No. It's no. <laughs> well, there you go. It's Mondo Pong. <laughs> Enjoy. Yes. On your own time. Yeah. Um, it looks like a fun game. I did play it for a tiny bit on, with the mouse. With the mouse, yeah. Um, it would so... be an excellent two-player game. I wish I had the NTSC version. Yeah. I'm gonna look really quickly for the NTSC version. If anybody has it out there, please let me know. Mm. Or if anybody has a link, please let me know. Mondo Pong, Atari 2600. Next to long game. NTSC. It says it's NTSC. On... But I guess just the line count is not cooperating with Something's not it. It's like working. 252 lines is not. Yeah. You didn't quite program. Like it would work on a CRT with actual hardware. Oh, but, I see. But it's not It's not doing the screen right. Yeah. It's not counting correctly yeah. to make yeah. it work. So. Okay. Yeah, so it is an NTSC game. So that, that settles that issue there. Okay. Next Pong game. Next Pong game. Which is, let's see. Rena Foot says they have four ROMs, can't tell if they're PAL or NTSC. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have three of them and they look all identical. Mm. Um, oh, I want to thank Thomas Yench for suggesting these three Pong games mm. today. Um, next one is Flapping, AKA Joust Pong. So it was originally called Joust Pong. Um, and I'll get to why it's not called Joust Pong, yeah. you can imagine, with those two names. Yes, with those two names. Um, yeah, smash together. So, mm -hmm. um, I did play with the joystick, so let's just go back to joystick. Okay. Just to be safe. Play what works. Yeah. Play Too what works. on the ground now. Hold down. Yep. No Atari Vox? I'm so used to that little Atari Vox noise. Really can't with the paddles, right? Or uh, You can with the paddles. Oh, you can. Just can't with two joysticks. Mm. Or four paddles. Flapping. Yep. Bin binary one. So this was first posted about in September 2002. I'll put it up on the screen. That will help. For everybody to see. Mm -hmm. This build is from 2005, February. Um, Joust Pong came out March 25th, 2004. It's a 4K game. Um, other games is this one and uh, Loaded for Bear, which I have not played or heard of before. Um, so we'll get you to play against the computer. And it's just a button game. That's why it doesn't need paddles. 
So you know Joust. Sort of. Press the button multiple times. Oh, that's me. You're on the left. Press the button multiple times. There you go. Um, Joust Pong, uh, you post on March 25th, 2004, is for sale on the Atari Age online store. Get them while they're hot. And get them while they're still coming with a limited edition Joust Pong t-shirt. This is his very first 2600 homebrew. I'm very happy with how this game came out. It had a very positive reaction at Philly Classic. I think I managed to sell extra copies at Philly Classic by people trying it out and making me talk it up a bit. Um, oh, I get it now. 20 years of Atari 2600 was 23 years ago. <laughs> yes, it was. Joust Pong! So you've uh, got... I, I, I finally understood what I was doing towards the end, so you will have to reset that. I'm like, oh, it's Pong! You're hitting it's the... It's Pong! <laughs> you're, you're trying to... Oh. It's Pong with the uh, with all the benefits of being joust at the same time. <laughs> so you've got the, uh, the pterodactyl, which is on the screen at all times, annoying you. It knocks you around if you run into it. But it doesn't. It doesn't kill you. It doesn't kill you, but it uh, provides a good <sighs> amount of annoyance. And you bounce. Yeah, you bounce at the bottom. Interesting. <clears throat> So, uh, let's read the instructions first. Hey, VHZC, we played your game. It is awesome. It's awesome. I looped it around, beat the boss. Very, very cool. Very creative. Rewind to watch. Uh, September 21st, 1998. The future of gaming can be summed up in two words. Pong and Joust. With these prophetic words in the Usenet group, Rec Games Video Classic, Otter planted the seeds for the game that you have now before you. Is it reset? Yep. Um, two of the greatest names in the history of video game have been brought together at last on your Atari 2600. Flat Ping is an old school round of Pong. The original deathmatch, combined with the famous flap button of Joust. Terry the Pterodactyl is here to keep things lively. Even the wall from the Atari Classic Warlords makes a cameo appearance. So there's different variations. We'll get into that. Um, how to play. Plus, press button for flat. Avoid missing ball for high score. And that was a variation of the original uh, instructions for Pong. Press, press button to start, I think it was. Avoid missing ball for high score. <laughs> they wanted to make the instructions like the easiest possible to understand. Oh, it's oh. bouncing so, so, it's so, such an angle. Oh, uh, no. It's hard because the flapping. Uh, oh, you got it. Uh, finally. Actually, coming down on it is a good approach. Mm. Oh. The oh, flapping. Game point. Ah, the Let's flapping try the doesn't... variation. Yeah, sure. With walls. With walls. This is like a combination of Pong, Breakout. Oh, and Breakout. And yes. Joust. You have to destroy, put a hole in the wall. And get it through the hole? And then get it through the hole, too. The pterodactyl is go. doing my job for me. <laughs> Bouncing it back to him. Oh, so far you're winning. Oh, wow. Got one, two holes in his Until wall. Until it starts going really crazy, and then it gets really hard to anticipate where it's supposed to be. It's got the pterodactyl noise when um, <sighs> from, from Joust. Uh, each play player controls a flapping knight, a classic rectangular pong paddle with an ostrich, angelic ostrich wing stretched out of its back. <sighs> player one controls the left knight, joystick plugged into 2600 blah 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 blah. During gameplay, only the joystick's fire button is used. Pressing the button flaps the knight's wings, giving an upward push against the constant pull of gravity. When the ball hits a knight, it's deflected and heads back towards the other knight. If the ball, um, if the ball makes it past a knight and the knight's castle wall in Poor Lord's game variant, so he actually makes it a combination of warlords, mm. the wall in warlords. Yeah, you know, yeah. Rather than uh, breakout, it's more like breakout though because it's a ball hitting it. Well, mm, it's a ball hitting it. Sort of. Warlords, yeah. Um. The other pl player scores a point. The first player to score 10 points or three in the case of Poor Lords. So it's only three points in this one, which uh, makes sense. Well, it takes you it a takes while. It takes longer to get going. 
declared the victor and the game is over. When hit by a knight, the ball takes on some of that knight's vertical speed. So if you hit it at an angle, it'll be more of an angle. Yeah. Terry the pterodactyl flies across the center of the screen. If the ball hits Terry, it'll also be reflected. If Terry hits a knight, the knight will be thrown down to the ground and Terry will squawk in glee. <laughs> Does he uh, squawk in glee? Oh, he goes, wow. Just like in... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, game oh. point. Oh. It's very hard. It's, it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> Joust is hard, too, but controlling that uh, flapping uh, palm board cool game but the ball is too small for my tired sightness it is a, it, it is, is a little really little small doubling it yeah. would have been probably really good yeah that's good sound mm -hmm. good music Doom. so we're gonna play oh there's an easy computer let's do the pretty easy, easy. Computer. this this already seems easy even though he keeps Stop beating me the sorry <laughs> This is an easy computer. Is it now? Yeah. And then we'll play each other after I finish the... Uh... Oh, he flaps slowly? Oh, he flaps terribly. So <laughs> it's just I. random, I think. Oh, oh. It's so hard. If someday I got a pterodactyl, I will call him Terry. Yeah. <laughs> now, for 10 points, can somebody else tell me a TV show with a pterodactyl named Terry in it? Yay! Do you know what? Peewees. <gasps> you can't get the points. Well, uh, you asked me <laughs> if I knew it. Oh, somebody, not you. <laughs> Peewees Playhouse. Well, you, she stole the ten points from everyone. Oh! So nobody gets... Blame me. Don't ask me. <laughs> Peewee. Yeah. So, Hoople Mac... Or Ho Hoopy Mac. Hoopy Mac gets... Got it, yes. You get five points. Yeah. She came in second. <laughs> oh, you got a point. See, a little bit easier. No, no, that's not. That's you. Is that my you point? point? I thought. Yeah. Oh, and I. Oh gosh. No, they got a point. It's it's hard to track it because of the movement. It's like. There, there you we go. go. <laughs> very, very, very touchy. It oh. is. Well, that's what Joust is like. Yeah. Joust is brutal. Joust somehow seems easier. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. Maybe I've just played more Joust. Yeah. If the left difficulty switch can be used to adjust the horizontal speed of the ball. Oh, come on. Terry, you're killing me. Yeah, it goes much faster on hard. We'll leave it. Just game point. Game point. Ah. Oh, win. Okay, now it's me against you time. New wall. Okay. Terry, get out of the way. Mm. I am pink. Tanya is purple. But he deflected the ball, so it's okay. Oh, he deflected it back. I barely hit the ball. Terry's been doing all my work. Ugh. It looks like it doesn't get stuck mm. behind you, though. Not it always like in, pushes uh, it forward. Yeah. Not like in Warlords. Warlords, yeah. Oh, oh my god. It's very hard when it, when it moves fast. Very hard. This is on the slow speed, too. I know. I can't imagine fast. <laughs> Sometimes it's like you're you're hovering and then you just jump oh, up or down. Damn it. Hovering is a good tactic. Oh, it, it is, but even that isn't that precise. Oh, especially when it's going fast. Or at an angle like that. There's yeah. just no way to... Oh, Terry! Terry, get out of the way. No! I swear he kind of oh. goes for the ball sometimes. I think he does. Yeah, look at that. He went for it. Oh. Terry. Oh. oh, now it's nice and slow for you. I gotcha. Terry. Oh. Oh. So 
I've been able to put in a little bit of work on my game Ooh. the past couple days. I've almost got all the pseudocode done for it. Um, I've got some no. of the graphics done. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't even have to touch it. Three oh. points. His vision is based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's do it without the walls. And then we will put on. Oh. There we go. This is to 15. Oh, Glad it went that oh. way first. It just keeps going back. Yeah, it should go towards me if you get scored I, on. Yeah, that's the one thing is. Uh... Always point it towards the winner because. Oh, but it doesn't. It points it to towards the loser. The loser, which is crazy, which I ah. guess means the game ends quickly. <laughs> yeah, it certainly does. That's very oh. unconventional. Oh, Terry. Oh. <laughs> See, it's not. That's not fair, right? No. To keep putting it no, towards. That is what it is. Oh. Now it's going to be on the no. road for me. No, Thank you, you, Terry. Terry. Oh. Uh, there we go. No! <laughs> oh, Thanks. No. Thanks. Now it's at a terrible angle and I'm going to die. <laughs> it, feels, it feels very unfair. Yes, it I agree. It was <laughs> not fair whatsoever. One more. Oh, how did I get that? Oh. Oh, you can't go down. You have to float down. Yeah, and that's what makes it so hard. So if anything, you stay at the bottom as oh. much as you can, because you can really only go up. Control your upper. But even movement. that, it, oh, Terry. <laughs> it's a troublemaker. Oh, you got it. Finally. Oh. It's so hard to match it. Oh my it's god. It's so hard to match it. There. Yay! Slowed it down for you. Oh. You have to keep. <laughs> you can't. You can't keep the. Um, you can't keep the height, which is oh. so frustrating. Oh no, Terry! No, no, no! <laughs> <sighs> there we go. This would be a very good game for people who are experts at joust. Oh, right under me. <laughs> Terrible. Do you you bounce? bounce? Yes, you do. So, so bounce. when it's really high, you kind of bounce slightly off the I'll ceiling. I'll show you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You bounce a little bit. Yeah. You do. You do hit it. It is. So it guess, is a surface you hit. I guess you could force yourself back to the bottom by hitting the ceiling. Oh. It's very bouncy. When, I just wanted to show the ceiling. Yeah. It's so hard. It is a challenging game, but if you love pong, no, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Oh, you're going to win anyway. <laughs> it's going too fast for me. Hold down the middle Ooh. button. Yep. It is challenging. So he did get, well, I was distracted, but um, he did get a, uh, a little note to tell him to not use that name. <laughs> it says, so Atari made a stink about using the name Pong. Now, I'm pretty sure Pong is on the verge of being a generic term. Mm. Certainly, certainly, uh, judging by the Google results, it seems Atari has been lax in defending their intellectual property. Anyway, Joust Pong is no longer for sale at Atari age, but I'm working on a slight revamp. Thomas Yench, Yench mm. came up with a brilliant name, Flap Ping. Sometimes written as flapping, which is like ping, pong, flapping, flap, ping. Perfect. Uh, and so they reissued it, called, uh, named it Flapping, mm. instead of Joust Pong. Mm -hmm. Same exact game. And they had to change the title. Title screen as well. At least in Joust, holding the button changes your descent. More resistance, Sam. Yeah. Does it? Oh, I did not know that in, jo in Joust. Yeah, it does, because you sink faster if, you take, oh. if you're not holding the button. Okay. That's true. What are we doing? Uh, we're going on to um, Pong Combat. Pong Combat. Nice. Pong game number three. So this is by Edward Griffiths, a.k.a. CP Face. Uh, first posted July 12th, 2006. This builds from July 16th, 2006. It's 
4K game. Uh, the other game he made was Melbourne Taddy. Remember that game? Where you have to move through a maze and it changes all the time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was very fun, if I remember correctly. Mm. Yeah. Um, this actually started as a DOS game in 1994. Um, Stéphane Gon... Oh, I switched it over. Uh, Gon-Jay? Gon-Jay? Sounds French. Gagne? Oh, Gagne. Gagne? Gagne. Well, it's G-A-G-N-E. Yeah, Gagne. Gagne? Yeah. First created Pong Combat for MS-DOS for a class project back in 1994 and distributed it online 1995. And the story from the DOS one was way, way back in time, Pong was invented and it was good. Trademark. The only real player in the game, White Paddle, enjoyed playing it and played it well. Then with the ad advent of color gaming systems, other paddles emerged. White, being the pompous, holier-than-thou jerk he is, got all to uptight about this and left. He joined the Pong Lao cult and joined a group of paddle warriors which held biannual tournaments and swap meets. He eventually toppled the Pong Lao leader, taking his throne. With the aid of his new friend, buddy, and bodyguard, Monolith, he rules over this year's tournament with an iron, uh, well, paddles lacking appendages, so just an iron. However, with the new rainbow-colored rainbow paddles from all walks of life, and a few old rivals seeking some revenge, he entered a tournament. He may have his hands full. Hopefully he can turn a few tricks and save his hide. Odds are certainly in his favor, but the forces of good have you now, so don't screw up. Um, and his first post about this was, I got permission from uh, Stephen, uh, or Stefan Gagné to do an Atari 2600 adaptation of Pong uh, combat, and I've got enough done that I'd like to show it off. So load it up. Pong Combat. Uh, at the first screen, press up and down to select your character, one of five multicolor sprites. So we've got what colors? Red, yellow, blue, green, purple. purple. Um, then press fire or reset to begin. Up and down moves your paddle. Fire button lodges a projectile. Select returns you to the first screen. Bounce. <laughs> So there's projectiles in this. I'm not. Oh, I'm like, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. So you can't shoot a projectile? It says fire button launches a projectile. Which fire button? Well, there's only one. Apparently, I do not have. Ninety-nine one. percent of games, there's only one fire button. Yeah. No, I. Uh... <laughs> so it's not working. No. Unless, unless there's difficulty levels. Ah. Um, maybe. Um, both paddles have an energy bar across the top of the screen. You take a hit every time you miss the ball, or your opponent hits you with a projectile. If you lose all your energy, the game's over and you return to the first screen. If you beat your opponent, you move on to the next round. There's five regular characters to beat, then a boss encounter with the original white paddle. Um, Finish him. Blue wins. That was not you, I'm guessing? No. Um, That's so... Funny. Let's just see if he took it out, or maybe some characters don't have a fire, or you don't get the fire for till later. No. Now you're yellow, still no fire. Nothing. No. Press button. Nothing. Okay. Um. Oh, what? Something came out. Maybe there's combos, because he did say there was. Oh, there oh. you go. Now you're doing something. Yeah, but I'm not hitting the. That's not coming from me hitting the button. What is it coming from? Pressing forward, left, right. How did that happen? Um, ah. In this version, it's easiest strategy to pick green paddle as your character, oh. and you hold down fire to unleash a near continuous string of attacks. Yeah, don't get hit by those. You're getting hit by all of them. There you go. Oh. I'm trying to figure out how that yellow thing comes. Uh, Kev Kelly says, love these mashups. Reminds me of other things like Monopoly with military. <gasps> oh. oh, he kills you. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see if we can find the combinations. He said green is the easiest. Yeah. Still no button. I think it's button and something else. Yeah. No? Button left and right. Button up and down. Button around in a circle. Try a bunch of stuff. 
now. And I'm just going to hit. Uh, you ha now have to enter secret combinations to this special attacks. Fire doesn't do anything except in a combination. To make it easier to figure out, all combinations are a series of four inputs. And the only inputs used are up and down and fire. So you have to do four com a combination of four moves and the fire button. There's no limit to how long you can hold down an input, no limit to how long you can go between inputs. To get you started, red paddle special, ta special attack is down, up, fire, fire. Oh, so it's not holding down the button. It's a combination of the fire button and up and down. And each of the characters has their own combination. You have to figure it out. Yep. Sorry, my uh, hand is really cramping up. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Difficulty switches for player in A position, player has to enter the secret. In the B position, the player can press fire to attack. Pretty sure it was on B. Maybe change that. We're on B. Maybe he's changed it since then. Okay. Fatality animation, something simple, and a hidden boss. In the end, I decided the thing that makes Pong Combat Pong Combat is the fatalities. If you don't have those, then it's just Pong where you can shoot your opponent. Oh, oh you got it! Figured out the blue one? No. Oh. Well, you got it working once. Uh, so I used that very last ROM to add a fatality animation. Um, let's see. What else we have? I managed to get Monolith in as a hidden boss, but the condition to find him is different from the original. Dead. Yeah, you give it a try. Okay, let's see if I can like figure out hitting everything. The combinations. <laughs> so blue. The yellow one I was getting a couple of times, but four. That's all it is. Four button presses. Nope. Oh, I must have pressed down up. It's definitely more than one fire button. Down and down and three. Nope. Down, up, then two. Down and three. <laughs> nope. Ugh. Is it down, down and four? Down, fire, up? Just four. I can't stand still long enough because he shoots me. Yeah, it's just four. Is it? Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> so hard <coughs> because you stand still to make your move and he shoots you because he shoots exactly where you are. Oh my God, that's hard. Uh, Kev Kelly says, I love these mashups. Reminds me of other things like Monopoly with military. He says, yeah. what else goes well with Pong, or should we say Ping? And v VHZC says, or Strip Hockey. And strip hockey. RC70 Burr. <laughs> says, Strip Hockey can't be what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad combo. Uh -uh. You need protection when you're out in the ice and there's... <laughs> oh, this one has no... This one is no button. It's just up and down for firing your laser. Is I it? I think the yellow I is oh. easiest. So up, down, up, down. Just up, down, up, down. That's it. Just up, down, up, down. Mm. I have a fighting chance now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's like down this. and up. I'm doing. Yeah, it is just. Oh, stop! Stop going there. Yeah, it's just down and up. Got him. Got him. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's not the easiest of games for oh sure. my goodness maybe mystique came back to release more games okay so i've got yellow try red, try red. see what red combo is bounce it's like mortal Kombat with all its uh special oh Ooh. look at that thing that's much wider yeah and slower i don't know if that helps special moves was two buttons at the end. Ugh. Damn it. 
Ab, ab. Wann, wann. Maybe you have to be holding up button button. No. No. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. It's very sensitive. <laughs> up, down, button, button. Up, RC70, down. does this one support paddles or just controller? It's just controller. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I guess it could be it a could. paddle game. You'd just be like left, right, button. But how do button. you do up, up, down, down? Yeah, that's left, true. Left, right. Yeah. Button, button. It'd be the same. Yeah, but it would it would have to be very precise. If you go too far, it would delay it? No. No, Just you don't left, think right, so? button, button. Yeah. It'd be fine. Oh. It is button, button. I'm not sure what the combo is yet. Yeah. Okay. We're going to play two player after this. If you can. I don't know if you can. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> Fatalities. Oh, you finished your cake. I did. Mm. So we did yellow. Did you figure out purple? No, no. Do purple. Cake. Very rich. Just rubbing it in, you know? <laughs> it is very rich. You know what? We were talking so much about oh. Nutella and Nutella mode that it had me thinking about <laughs> Nutella so much after that. So Nutella this, mode. Nutella mode. So this just hits the spot. <laughs> so it's. So? Up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up. Down, uh, up, down. Up, down, button, button. Up, down, button, up. <laughs> button, button, up, up. Button, button, up, up. Button, button, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> button, 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 up. <laughs> button, 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 down. Spam, 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 spam. spam, spam. <laughs> I haven't been able to do it once. Not even by accident. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, it sends it to the loser in this game, too. Yeah. Punishing games. Yeah. Just like, no, you, you have to learn. You suck. Yeah. Suppose, I suppose, if you think of it like tennis, well... Uh, tennis is kind of like that. No, because the, no, cause you, you yeah, serve some, some until you serves. lose. You serve until you lose. Volleyball, it changes. If you win, you serve first, so you're you're throwing it towards the losing side. Could use so tap guess. or hold button on paddles. Mm. Could also use up button, down plus button. Yeah, there's yeah. there's combinations. There's some possibilities. Uh, I didn't do green. So volleyball is one where you're always serving to the loser. The ball's always going to the losing side. Am I correct in that? It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. Now I'm confused. Yeah. The serve goes to the... such a long time. I play video games. I don't play sports. <laughs> I can't get the green one either. No? No. Oh! <gasps> up, up, da, up, up. Da, button, button. You just hit once. I love it. It's like you're trying to play Pong and trying to figure <laughs> out <laughs> what the button scheme is. Uh, oh, down and him. button. It was down and button. Oh, that's... So up, up. Up, up, down button. Or just down button. No. It's not. But it's you a, just, it's just said shot. always four. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? You're cut off. <laughs> just my little line. Oh, you got him. I did. I hit him? Yeah. Or I I think wow. you did, actually. I wasn't looking at the, the bar, though. Ooh, good job. He shoots continuously. <laughs> he does. He doesn't have the hindrance of having to do four things in a row just to shoot. Uh, I can't figure it out. You got it, though. I, I know, but it's button at the end. <laughs> but it's like, what's the combination? Not, it's not three <laughs> up, up, ups. down, down, left, right, left, <laughs> right. right, button, button, button. <laughs> <laughs> button, button, button. Okay, let's play two player. I'm done with trying to figure this out. Okay. 
I think this is two player. Yeah, we're both at the top. Yep. Okay, good. Oh, we're both blue. We didn't pick. Sorry. Do you get to pick for the, with the two? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you. What is blue again? I don't know. Anybody remember? Did you figure it out? Oh! Buttons. So three buttons. Up and three buttons. Or four buttons. Oh. You can't do it while you're moving. Nope, that didn't work. Yep, it's just four buttons. Or three. Up and three buttons. Oh, it's just buttons. It's just buttons. Is it? Blue is the easiest. Yeah, it's just four buttons. But you can't interrupt your four buttons with the movement, though. Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it confuses you. It's like, am I supposed to get the blue one? I know. That's I've done that on a couple of occasions. This is a really good Pong game. It is. It's really cool because you have to be concentrating on multiple things. You being hit, oh, you hitting them. Yeah, finish him. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You have to know the finishing move. <laughs> you have to know the finishing move. Is there okay. finishing moves? There are because you didn't finish me. Oh. So you have to figure out the finishing move too. Interesting. Uh, well, I like blue because it's easiest, but <laughs> uh, I think I figured out yellow. What was yellow? like up down button button or something so it's green i can't find this game with search is not out yet uh it's out it's out it's out let me uh link it for you oh i can't uh because i can't see one second <laughs> i'll link it for you it's also all these games are linked from my um my thread. Oh, I Did found it on it? AA. Yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Some of these are not easy to find. There you go. Pong Combat. It's got a bunch of different versions. Just go to the last one. So I'm going to play yellow. I think you press the start. Me? You press the button to start. I don't know which color. I don't know what any of these do. What was Some red? Some of them I couldn't figure out. So Did you figure you, out red? You can. Well, I'll play. Let's see. You were getting red. I can't red. remember yellow, so. Ugh. Was I getting red, but I couldn't figure out red? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I figured out red. I can't remember what it was, though. Is that down, down, button, button? Oh, gosh, I thought that was a projectile. Up, down, button, button. Down, down, button, button. Up, up, button, button. <laughs> down, down, button, button, button. Oh. oh, come on. You figured it out? Yeah. What is it? Up, down, button. Button, but I do it button three times. But it might just be two. Ugh. Can't figure out the laser again. <gasps> oh, why? Why does it make the loser pen pen penalized? Oh, it went to you that time. Oh my goodness, I can't figure it out. Ah! Ah. Oh, it does change. It's random. I think it's random. Well, that's better than going to the loser constantly. How come I can't... I shot it once and... Oh, oh, now it goes. Oh, my God. Added it to my list, but still need to update the file. Yeah, I found 
found this 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 game wasn't on arena foot's list but he has really? a, he has a lot to go through wow oh my goodness but it's very rare that i find a game that's not his list yeah. he has, his list it's is exhaustive it's huge <laughs> it's a challenge. hundreds and hundreds i can't remember how many how many games do you have listed on your list arena foot must be thousands about a thousand it's gotta be a lot um uh, yeah i think there's just two player and one player let's play the blue again both yeah because we know how to do that it's just buttons red's not hard either no yeah what was it up down i hit it three times that seemed to work it might just be two uh, i think i got you no i don't think you did oh Oh, you <laughs> bastard. Really, the aim is to <laughs> to sync up where you think it's going to hit. Like that. Yeah. At the exact same time that it's going to get to their side. Because they have to get hit at that point. Because either way, they lose. Oh, oh my gosh. Gotcha. <laughs> Doing terrible on the pong side of the house. <laughs> yeah, there's two games going on. Yeah. Really. <laughs> this is one tactic. <laughs> yeah. I actually can't get it to deflect. Can you? Uh, I don't want to. I can't get it to deflect, though. Oh, there we there go. You go. <laughs> Finish me. You're not going to try? No, it No, I don't know how. I don't know how. 3,618 <laughs> homebrews and hacks. That Oh, right now. Of course I have homebrews, hacks, demos, and prototypes. Wow. So that includes everything made for the 2,600 after, after the initial the run. Initial run. Wow. Oh, since 92. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of games. A lot of things Well, I mean, it's at. other things too. But it is. Do you yeah. know, Arena Foot, do you know how many of those are actual... Homebrews? Like not demos and like actual release games. Like well, I guess physical, a demo is a release cartridge. game. Yeah, no, I guess they're all they're all they're games. All released, yeah. yeah, but they're not all games. Demos are non-interactive. I guess a prototype. That's how you define a demo. Like I would Proto call a demo any any demos a couple mean, of levels, but no demos. But I know are, what you mean by demo. Say they show off the capability of the yeah. chip. Yeah. Prototypes are usually games that weren't released. Released, yeah. Um, they were meant to be released. Yeah. Initially, yeah. but they never came out. And it's hacks are alterations, and they could be alterations of homebrew or original games too. Yeah. And they change the graphics or yeah. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Release cartridges games are listed Lit in bold, bold font. font. Yeah. Do you know if you can filter by bold? Can you? I don't know. You're the Excel expert. <laughs> yeah. Can you filter by bold. Uh, Things that are bold. That seems yeah. very difficult. No, to do. because it's it's conditional formatting. I think you probably could. Yeah. Um, you can certainly hide. Before I forget. Yeah, I think so. Maybe we can count. This is Pong. <laughs> this is this is what dominated the '70s for home consoles. Our game, our game systems like this. This is a, a later type of release because it has a gun. Yes. Yeah. And it has a bunch of variations. It's quite, quite the gun. Yeah. Wood grain, black, oh, no orange, no no orange tip on that one. And this is a color as well. Yeah. Color TV. Ooh. Fancy. Sports. Lloyd's. Eight game variation. Nice. Um. So this has, uh, what does it say? Practice, you against the wall, I guess. Tennis, hockey, squash, and two types of, I guess, target and skeet shooting, and another one for rifle. I guess it has the add-on. Um, and it had just like little flipper. Mm -hmm. Is that the box or all the stuff? No, it's got everything in this. And that's mm -hmm. why I bought it. Because I wanted one that had a gun yeah. with it. There's there's even more advanced ones than this as well. But this one I, I like because it had the gun and had the two paddles. And it's it had a lot of variations. Yeah. Um, there's We've a really... never played it though, have we? No, we haven't. I think no. I got it out once and hooked it up once. Yeah. There's some really cool early Nintendo ones that have really nice 
mm -hmm. um, covers and like really nice colors. I mm -hmm. wouldn't mind one of those, but those are not cheap. Uh, Nintendo Pongs. Yeah. How long ago did you get this? Was this from a more recent, um, not more not recent, recent, but maybe in the last 10 years? Yeah. 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 It's not, not one I had for a long, no. long time. Yeah. It's got everything in it. I'm not going to open it up because it just make a mess of stuff. Yeah. And it's a pretty rough box, but it's it pretty amazing the box. box is still around. Yeah. And there were hundreds of those made. Hundreds of different types. Of Pong. And they're just remade by different people and yeah. packaged differently and yeah. recolored. Yeah. Yeah. 1,309 homebrews through to 2019. Nice. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a lot. We had the Enter Enterprex Apollo 2001, 2001 Pong, Pong machine. machine. Still wow. got it. People never say my first console was Pong. Very few. Yeah. That was not my first console. My first console was an Atari, but in 94. 92 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 93 but I you got were it at a flea market your, your dad bought you a commodore 64 Which i'd rather have gotten and then then a console wouldn't get you a console after that so we just never had a console no. my friends had consoles my friends at the ataris and nintendo and so and you stuff. played and in televisions friends, yeah. and colecos and i went and played them all at the at their place so yeah that was fine and I'm, i was really happy i got the commodore because it was very flexible you could do tons with it. i did my homework on it well, that's, that's, and I, and I think this is something we share is my yeah. dad was the same. I well, grew up, button. I grew up with a Commodore 64. Yeah. Um, and so mm -hmm. I, I think my first console was a Nintendo and that was well into the rate, like the, the, like a few years Austin. after it was released, yeah. you know, my parents were, were, weren't the type to ever buy something, you know, when it's first released. So, yeah. um, so we had a, I, I was typing up reports on the Commodore 64 in high school like like <laughs> we had that computer for a very long time I mean it, it had yeah. a printer and a lot of people didn't have printers so it was nice to have yep. the ability to type too. up reports and print yep. things out so okay. so anyway so let's get to Robotron Enough. and take a look at the updates this is an exclusive <gasps> work in progress Yay! update um, this is from May 21st um, originally came out uh, let's get that on the screen there we go. John Von Neumann, my first machine was an Atari 800XL. Oh, very cool. Um, Coleco Telstar Arcade. That's a oh. cool one. That one's really sought after because yeah. it's in a triangle. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, Pong, Atari, NES, Microvision. Yeah, NES was my, my, my first real console. Uh, okay. Of, other than computers. Yeah. So... Then a 128, yeah. My, my, I didn't have a 128. No, no. We got the I C64. I wanted an Amiga, but... We got the C64, and I think my dad's like, yeah, we've invested in this. We're good for, for you know, 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was showing you an old photo from my residence room in oh, university, yes. and you were appalled because <laughs> when I went away to university, and this was in the mid-90s, I was working off a, th a 386 computer, because my dad got it for free because they got rid of them at his work. <laughs> and it ran, what, Windows 3.0, was it? 3.2.0? No, 3. it 3. Point something. Yeah. Probably 3.1. Well, 3.1. But this Not was many people had 3. In, the, in the mid to late 90s. And, and it was just, it was, it was barely usable. But I needed a computer for some of my classes. Mid to late 90s? Mid, mid, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I eventually if got a new one. If that was in a movie, I'd be like, "That's not realistic." No, it was for me. It's like that computer is <laughs> is too old to be in this movie at that time. It period. ran Pine email, and that's all that mattered. <laughs> oh, Pine email! I was using I Pine, Pine in 1991. We had Pine email at the university, <laughs> and yeah. then I had like weird statistical software and a few things that I had to run on the computer, and I typed up reports, and that was about it at the time. But that, yeah, I eventually got, I think the next year in my second year, I got a brand new computer. And that was like, oh pff, like. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. Talk while you play. No. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were going to try with the uh, Xbox controller. Oh, uh, we have to do emulation. We'll do that after. This is to show off the new stuff, not to. I've already forgotten how to play. <laughs> You're playing one joystick mode. Yes. It's like, uh, oh. Ran, right, ran into right into it. Hi, Atari. Come on up. So, uh, John sent this to me. Um, he sent one on May 20th, oh. and then this one on May 21st. And the May 20th update 
he added uh, trails to the added trails to the progs on the brain level. So if you make it to the brain level, you'll be able to see trails on the zombified people. Because the zombified people before were just flashing. Oh, they didn't have trails. And in the arcade, they had trails, which made them a lot easier to see. So hopefully you'll make it to that. I don't know what skill level you're playing. Easy? Normal. Or standard, I think. So in the fifth wave, I think it's the brains. Oh, we'll play two player in a bit. Oh, game over. Play the easy, easy version. I saw Win 3.1 sometime after 1995. I was confused at first. Yeah. <laughs> after 95, you know, as yeah. in Windows. 95. I think I got my first PC in 94. It was a 386, I think. Yeah. See, it's not Standard. that uncommon. Go to easy mode. Easy. There. Now you can do it. Novice. No. I'm not that bad. Up, I just. Down. There you go. Yeah. We want to show it off. Well, I, I just have to relearn how I was playing this. <laughs> um, uh, I did add a trail to the progs in the brain level and tweaked the cruise missile logic. The missiles fi fired from the brains. So I to the brain level to see this. Yeah. And the May 21st update, which is this one, fixed a bug where an electrode could appear over your player at the start of a level. That's not very fair, is it? <laughs> dead instantly by electrode right away. Uh, fixed a bug where it wouldn't display 20 and 84 in the same horizontal band if it could. It would only display one. Interesting. Where would that happen? On the title screen, I guess? Change the intro to a level so the grunts and electrodes appear on the screen faster, but the other, other enemies appear slower. It gives you more time to survey the area. Plus, you can move while the grunts are materializing, so you can get a jump on them, like the arcade. Oh, nice. Let's turn it down a little bit here. Um, humans are now more evenly dispersed at the beginning of a level. It was previously favoring the top left corner. Uh, humans and brains can now turn diagonally after horizontally or vertically. Previously, they would only move diagonal at the beginning of a level. Oh, oh here are the brains. See them moving quick? Yeah, I did, yeah. Way better for avoiding oh, very them. very cool. So, well, one's being changed now. There it is. Moving around. Dying so quick, we don't get to see it. Uh, yes, we are going to try dual joysticks today um, on emulation. Um, using Xbox 360 controller. Um, we did play um, dual controllers um, on the first playthrough as well. Uh, I sped up your missiles by 25%. Playing the arcade, I noticed you have much more firepower. Oh, he's really quick. Ran right into it. I'm holding it. I can't change the fire. You have to stop and shoot. Yeah. So it's more like strafing. Pick a corner. Yeah, it's, and... There's, was there auto fire? Yeah, hold it down. No, but wasn't there a le wasn't there that a setting? Is not auto fire right no. now? No. Oh. Right now. That's. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that's much that's better. much better. Now she'll do that. Well. I... <laughs> <laughs> not promising. I'm not promising. Um. Fix the collision detection for sparks and bombs. Previously, it was using a large bounding box to determine collisions. Now it's using pixel collision detection. Oh. Fixed it so your missiles are now displayed when then are the far left and right of the screen. Oh, so they were disappearing. And previously, they weren't displayed because I was only using the play field for horizontal shots, and the play field is not displayed in those two columns. Fix is to use the ball to display your missiles in those two columns. Interesting. Uh, that's what I use so fun. Uh, I thought that's uh, I thought that was a jet. jet. Um fixed it so enemies aren't animated when the level is initializing. I don't have to look out for them. So they're just static. It looks silly having the humans running in place waiting for the level to start. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, so they just stand there right there. 
Um, remove the super slow speed of the sparks. Now they only move at medium and fast. The slow speed was the same speed as the enforcers and it looked silly. If you get a chance to play it, let me know if you run into any issues. Oh, good luck, us. Okay, so I sh we'll play two, two people now. Stop firing. Stop firing. Not firing. It's not out of fire. No, I think I have to switch. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, I thought you were restarting. Oh, we'll just continue. Are you firing for me? Trying to. Okay. There we go. Now we're playing two people. I'm on the, uh... Yes. On the firing job. Oh. Ran into it. I thought you were going to shoot it. I'm trying. There's a it's lot okay. of things it's to shoot. It's very hard <laughs> to figure out which way I'm going. <laughs> Straight up. No. Like... Pick, pick, a, pick a corner. Pick a, I pick... was, but you weren't shooting anything in that corner. <laughs> pick a direction. Is your big arcade controller thing broken? Um, the big arcade controller is a USB controller. Going and down, it... going down, going okay. down. Sorry. You're talking! <laughs> it's not a game you can talk and play. True. <laughs> yeah, my the big controllers are not dual. Um, and they're USB mm. as well. So, so yeah, many brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many brains. All over the place. Oh, oh no. no. Game over. Alright. Okay, we'll try it again. Go Who was I think were you firing and I was playing? I was moving. Yeah, last time. Do you want to flip? Yes. Yeah. I enjoyed flowering, actually. Oh, I can still smell that cake. There's more cake to mm, be had. No. Down. Do you have it on auto fire? Just hold it in a direction. It'll auto fire. No, we forgot to rescue you. Oh, oh no. God, it, I was running and it materialized in front of me. Oh, 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 I failed you. Oh, no, they're all dead. Much better way to play. <laughs> With you firing. Well, we and were me moving. We were that's how we were doing it last yeah. time. I think you just you, you were more that. practiced on it now. The characters still have your names on No. He's he says he's he might uh, put it in as a bonus in in the final game. Oh my god! Sorry, I was surrounded. trying. Yeah. <laughs> um, like as a as an Easter egg that you can somehow uh, get to. Uh, but no, not still our name. Sadly. Still very cool though. Oh yeah, I mean I'll still always have that copy. You have that ROM, right? Yeah. With our names in it. Come here, come here, come here. Let me get that last guy out. When they shoot, it really, it really. They're very you. fast. They are very fast. Especially if you're kind of close to oh, to get around them. Oh but their shots do go in one direction, so it's not like those follow you. Or do they? No, they just their shoot. Their shots, at you. they shoot straight, but they things. they shoot at you for yeah. sure. Those guys are like aliens where they change into one thing, then they change into the other thing. Yeah. And they just keep evolving. Yeah, okay. I'm not as scared with those spinning things. I mean, they, I guess they go in your initial direction. Yeah. But as long as you move out of the way. As long as you move out of the way, you're kind of okay. Look, there's a lot of them. Did you lose the sides or something? Uh, level 9, you lose the sides. 
then they come back. Maybe it's kind of like a, an indicator. It's what like oh, the twenties. That's new. Oh, oh no, that it's not new. It was there before. He was saying they weren't able to they weren't able to be written on the same level. That's what he's talking. About. They're big bones. Yeah. Have to hit them or um. These are the ones I tried. Um. Yeah, you just shoot. They're just they take the place of. Um, <laughs> Someone said, I hope I hope to unlock the Easter egg, you don't have to go through a champ games agent every time. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's right, you have to yes. uh, talk to three agents yes. in the chat, <laughs> get the codes from each of them, Aww. do the correct joystick directions, and then decipher a code from an email directly from John. <laughs> oh, oh, John. God, it was crazy. <laughs> it, was it was so funny. It's trying to be so elaborate. And oh, it, was, it was good, it was good, but uh, I don't think either of us wanted to spend too, too much time uh, <laughs> It was very clever. Um, um, working on that instead of not showing the game, right? Like yeah. it's, <laughs> it's um, not to his advantage. And then somebody posted the uh, the clip from War Games. Oh yeah, yeah. That he got it from at least yeah. turning the uh, oh. turning the keys, and it was like oh, yeah. oh, it's the shape of the keys were exact. The shape oh of the really? Were exactly the same as in watch, War Games. I have to watch that movie again. It's been quite a while. Yes. It, it's a great lots game. Of, I think I saw it for the fun. first time, possibly, possibly with you. I don't possibly. think I saw it when it first came out. Like, I don't think I watched... I saw it like three times in, in, in the theater. I just loved it because it well, was such... a great game. A great game. A great, a great movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who doesn't like Matthew Broderick? Oh. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's ah. Day Off, on the other hand. <laughs> Love that uh, film and watched ah. it. Pretty much at like that Constantly and Footloose forever. were my two favorite um, sleepover party uh, movies that Still I used to watch with my friends. I've not seen Footloose. Oh, you would hate it now. It's, <laughs> it's not just, something that translates well uh, to uh, it's just dancing. adulthood. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of dancing. It's dancing and it's cheesy and but I mean, yeah, I'd watch it again. But that was that was yeah, it was Footloose and Ferris Bueller's Day. Or, Day Off. by just like far my favorites when I was a kid. Fun adventure type movie. They're doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Being goofy. Being goofy. Well, first, I would love to watch that. I do have a copy of it. I'm <laughs> fairly <laughs> certain. Uh, fairly certain. To the right, to the trying to. Left, to trying the left, to. To the left, to the left. Oh, oh no. no. And they came from above. They did. Uh, there's a lot on this level. Level 18. And we're just playing novice. Which is like 50%, I think, of capacity. Get him. Get him. Yeah. A lot less than the arcade. Oh, oh, oh. I don't oh. even know. Tell me where you're going. Just say I'm going down and I'll shoot Normally down. down. Unless there's yeah. not a path down. Then... Oh. What? Look. But nothing hit you. Nothing hit me. I'm gonna try with the um, uh, control. Yep. So we're gonna switch over to emulation because I have this controller. This. Oh. Oop. Smackety smack. It's a microphone. <laughs> uh, for the Xbox 360, which has dual analog controllers. Oh. Which do work as digital controllers. Nice. Um, I have tried it. Uh, they're a little bit like. Mm, probably because they're analog. Mm. So maybe I should use the this D-pad. Mm. That might work better. Yeah. Um, so let's switch over. We'll leave that on. Plug this in. Hopefully it remembers my settings. Get this up on Robotron 2084. Okay, I'm gonna let you bring it. Uh huh. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll be a moment. Go to Stella. Is this right? This is too big. That's about the better size, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Switch over the game. 
Have I not been switching over to games? Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we're on Stella emulation. We're going to be using the Xbox 360 controller. And we'll see how the dual sticks on that work. I'm just going to make sure it's all good. So input. We'll go down to joystick up. Joystick, joystick zero up. And we're going to redefine this. Up. Down. Left. Right. Fire should still be good. And I hopefully it remembers my other. So let's see. Up, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, that seems to be good. This might actually work. I just found that the digital. Oh. That's what's messing me up. If I'm firing to the right and moving to the right, he moves left. That's... something's going on. Mm -hmm. Having troubles? Yeah. If I move... Mm. If I fire to the right mm -hmm. and move to the right, he starts moving left. Oh! And that's why I was, like, having so much troubles with this. Is it just Let's mapped just, improperly? It might be mapping issues. Hmm. So let's just clear out the right. Player one is play zero and player one. Map to the right. Okay. That's player zero, and then you're sure? Fire to the right. Yeah. Okay. So race fire to the right. Map. Okay. Okay, now let's try that out. Double binding, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. So if I've erased it, yep, there we go. It's doing what it's supposed to? Yep. Let's make sure all the firing directions are right. Up, up, yeah. Fire down, fire left. Seems a little hard to get the, very easy to get the angles, but the perfect directions like down, left, right, seem a little bit harder. Yeah. Like the area in which you can point it is so narrow with this controller. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. It works. We're working now. All right. All right. Oof. Grr. See, I had a little trouble firing to the right there. Mm. Ugh. Reset to all defaults and remap. Yeah, exactly. That's the fast way of doing it, but it's working now. So you you prefer the uh, the D-pad instead of the double Just joystick? because of the thing I was just saying. Okay. The, um, the digital or the analog um, joysticks are being very imprecise. Mm. So moving left is very hard, but moving up and, up and um, left is very easy. Mm. Just this, the space is very narrow for left. Here you go. Okay. Still nothing better than a true eight way. Oh yeah, for sure. And I really would love to get an Ed Ladin, uh dual seven eight hundred. It's going right through it. Hey. Okay. Yeah, sort of. It was. It was at the corner of it. Well, go, it won't. Doesn't want to go to the left. Funny. Hmm. doesn't well it's having it seems to like firing to the, left or moving the angles to the really well that's what i told the you the firing yeah yeah the firing yeah it wants, the firing. wants to do the angles and there's nothing you can that's weird i can i can remap them the firing if you want no no it's okay it's just it's just weird you gotta hold uh, it like this <laughs> yeah it's but, it, it is remapped it's mapped diagonally is it? Yeah, oh, I, I think it is. Let's do it. So I think it's mapped on I'll a let diagonal. You, I'll let you do it. So. 
Okay, ready? You have to be very precise with this. I'm going to erase this. Okay, ready for up? Mm -hmm. Up. Okay. Wait. Oh, sorry. Down. Left. Right. Try again. Now it's very precise with what it's saying there. It's like a three plus four minus four plus three minus three plus. Like those are absolutes. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm pretty sure that's how it was before too. Where am I? <laughs> I'm like, lost I, I lost myself in the crowd. I have to no, say, my younger still... son is amazing at Robotron with his Xbox controller. Hmm. It's still it's still doing it diagonally almost. Weird. Anyway, it's, that's okay. It's because it's an analog mapping to a digital. And it's just not meant to do that, really. Um, it does work, though. It works. Just okay. fiddly. Just fiddly. It's can not you, the perfect. Can you reverse it? Like, do Four. the shooting? You want to shoot with your left thumb? How do you usually? You can move with this and shoot with this. Don't you usually move... Do you have two NES style controllers? Mapping them for holding sideways. Oh. Two NES controllers. Don't you usually move with your left and look around with your right? Or am yeah. I. Yeah. Well, that's what you're doing. No. That's you're moving with your left. Oh, I see. You're not using that, are you? No, you're you yeah. not using that. Move with your left, look around with the right. Yeah. yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. We have one NES. I think we have one NES USB controller. Sorry, kitties. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Move your butt. These are actual NES. Uh, that's an SNES. Not handy. No. <laughs> I do have... I do have NES USBs. Oh, here's one. SNES? So... I have this, SNES, and we can move with this and fire with this. What do you think? It should be exactly the same. Yeah. Maybe not. We'll but you, couldn't you do it with these? Sure. Do you want to do that? Want to map those? Might as well try it with that. Unless you think this is easier. There's no difference. Okay. So we're going to map it to the but fire buttons on the... For the firing. Xbox. Hmm. Okay, you ready? Uh, a joystick up or firing? No, firing. We're just remapping the firing. Ready? Oh, sorry. Don't press things before I tell you to oh, you press ready. things. you said ready! Not press. Get okay. ready. Okay, up. Down. Left. Right. Okay. Now you start with the A still. Do you? Or not. Oh, oh that's been remapped. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? Yeah. It does. It's a little... Try the angles. There's no angles. Well, two at the same time. Really? Yeah, that's what an angle is. Two, two joystick movements at the same time. That's all because um, Atari 2600 joysticks are only four way joysticks. They only it know definitely four definitely takes some, some getting used to. Super NES controllers would be better. You can use the D-pad for movement and the four face buttons A, B, a y, A, B, X, Y for shooting. Yeah. It's not great because the because I of do want to try this. Yeah? Um, oh, S. Ramirez. Good night. Have a good, Have a good night. night. I mean, it's going to be the same. Mm, yeah. not Definitely not as easy as no? two-player. <laughs> two-player is definitely better. It's not bad. It's not bad. It takes it's a bit bad. of getting used to using the buttons. Yeah, because they're not connected. Yeah, they're not connected. The diagonal is a bit 
weird. Definitely kind of better don't than use the, the diagonal. Definitely better than the other thing. Yeah, right? the other one was was definitely definitely off. Or it was always sensing a diagonal. Always. All it was the trying time to be cause, diagonals. Because of, yeah. Grr. Would the D-pad be better then? For shooting? Maybe. Like, not with your left hand. I mean, you would totally screw it up, so. <laughs> You'd have to hold it in a funny way to play. Oh. Like that and that. Um, yeah. I think anyway. it's still mapped to that. It is. You can try it. So right now, there's multiple variations in this. Mm. I mean, two joysticks is, is what you want. Yeah. Buttons no good? Sound like it'd be good. It's, it's better than this analog. It's better. Let's try the SNES controller. Just for a last thing to try. Last kick at the can. Mm -hmm. oh. oh! There's no, no, oh my goodness. It doesn't understand this new controller, which is good that it doesn't nice just map it. Up. Down, left, right, up, oh. oops, up, oh, it's like forgetting things, down, left, right. Do you need a fire? Uh, I can press the space bar. Is it? It's probably similar to the. I can't. It's going I can't up. move. No, something's. I can't move down. Something's weird. One second, I figured out. Down is fine. Left is left enough. Oh, it's like a, the diagonal. Oh no, this is but not, I, not good. That, that was. What's wrong with you, Retro Link? Something is weird. Mm, the D-pad's not good. Possibly. Oops. It's P1. That one was working just fine. Uh, up. Erase. Map. Up. Erase. Map. Down. Oh. Oh. It's binding multiple things. That's why. Yeah, it was it was doing multiple things at the same time, like people were explaining. Yeah, that's better. This is not bad. Moving with a D-pad is good. Mm. So this is this is decent. Timmy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy Is his name Timmy? I, I can't remember. I, don't know. I think it's just the boy. The boy. Generic. Generic name. Is it more comfortable? Is it working better now? Yeah, this is probably the best non joystick configuration so far. Like two joysticks is, is exactly what you want. Mm. But for non joysticks, I think this is good. A D pad? Two D pads would be, be even better, mm. but um, the buttons are good. Because you know you're firing left, you know you're firing up. Mm. Like it's very, very, very. And I usually don't use the angles anyway. Uh, that last score was thirteen thousand three hundred seventy-five. Ooh, Please. who's keeping track? Don't was that a joke demo score or what you actually got? Oh, uh, that was a real score. <laughs> Are we getting elite scores? Yeah, look at that movement. That looks really good. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. 13375 is very low. Terrible. Terrible. Um, two SNES style you could do sideways too. 
It's what I have, but they're cheap and loud, so I don't use them. <laughs> cheap and loud. Yeah. As long as they work. Mm -hmm. This is not perfect. Oh, it's too many things. Mm. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. You know the direction you're firing. It's, it's very, very, like, yes. You can understand it. Yeah, so I would recommend this if you don't have a... If you're going to use emulator and you don't have a dual joystick configuration it, it that you can set help. up. Yeah. Yeah. Playing terribly, but... Because I'm still not used to it, but I, I, I find it's quite good. Well, I'm sure once you get used to it, it's not so bad. The boy is Mikey. Mikey, oh, that's okay. what it is. Timmy, Mikey. Timmy, Mikey. They're all the same. Yeah. Try it with that. It's not bad. Don't love it. Don't love it. I don't, yeah. I'm used don't get to the too other way now. Them. Stay away. No, don't get close. No, should have gotten her. Two any SNES you could do sideways. Or like tape them together and <laughs> do two D-pads. Luckily with the emulation, you can pretty much plug anything that's a USB and like just map it to anything. Oh. Right into it. And I was looking at what I was shooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a defensive like a... and offensive game at yeah, the same time. Yeah, which is really cool. Yep. It was like... Uh, It was like the, the combat pong, com pong combat. It's like defensive and offensive yeah. at the same time. It is a little annoying. You can't really control the the shooting as well as you might oh, want. Okay. No, it's not perfect. Why am I not moving? Oh, weird. sorry. It's me. I was shooting stuff, but I was not moving. <laughs> oh, now guys, I'm not moving at all. You guys were hearing it the whole time? Oh, no. Is that true? Nobody complained? <laughs> Maybe they're just like... Yeah. They, they're, hearing, they're hearing the music in their head. Yeah. They've all played it. Smash TV for NES had a config. You hold two controllers, one in each hand sideways. The supported four way to two players could play with two T pad D pads each. Oh, with the f with the four way. Yeah. Oh, left is up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. So I see what you're saying. I think I, I might have two of these, but I think I only have one. Uh you can play one more. Okay. I do. It's hard, but it's enjoyable. I'm trying to like go diagonally, but that's really not a thing. No, it's, it's not too much really of a thing in this controller not scheme. Really a thing you can do easily. Which makes it harder to shoot things because realistically, yeah. you kind of need the diagonal. You do. Because oh. I can't shoot him as he's running around because I can't really shoot the diagonal. Yeah, I don't like not having the diagonal. Yeah. I mean, we do have two controllers here, but they're just massive, like two joystick controllers. Yeah. And we did do that. Meh, 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 meh. Okay. It's more fun to play actually the two when I'm shooting and you're running around. We just we were cleaning up. We do a lot better. We were, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's a good game to play two player. Oh, I could do that with both of these. Um, here. Mm. Use mm. that for shooting. Mm. I don't think we've tried this. For the emulator? Yeah. 
actual joysticks. Proper joysticks. Yeah. This is two, it says. You've got one. Yeah. Uh, let's go to defaults. Is this going to work? No. Okay. Player zero. Up. Down. Yawning. Right. Fire. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Up. No, not not yet. Not yet. Up. Down. Left. Right. Okay. Nice diagonals again. Yay. How's it working? Good. Yay. Proper. Yeah, really relaxing, uh, RC70 was saying, because you can uh, have like one in each hand on each side of you. <laughs> oh, which kind of uh, configuration for that? Just playing this game. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's relaxing because you can hold your hands far apart. If you want true. to. True. It's true with the you want big to. controllers. Yeah. Down, down. Thank you. Oh. Dude got me. Timmy, come here. It's Mikey, not Timmy, but... <laughs> I call him Timmy. Timmy! Shoot that guy. This. Oh, it's so much better with an actual choice. Shoot anything, shoot the... <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. <laughs> Got these joysticks at this guy's house. And he had like 10 of them. Of, yeah. Of these things. Yeah. He said um, he was a professional gamer. If yeah, I he was a professional gamer. Um, don't... I think I asked him. No. Um, but he had a bunch of them, and he's sell selling off his older ones. Yeah, because he had newer ones. He, he had just bought new ones. ones. Don't shoot it yet. 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 Shoot it. <laughs> and I got them for very cheap. Excellent thing. price. Excellent price. Ah. So I was very very happy carrying these all the way home. You sit within walking distance, not unreasonable walking distance. Help, shoot. Right, right. Oh, it's not shooting to the right. It's like sometimes I'm trying to shoot to the right and it's shooting the diagonal. Yeah. It's very, very irritating. It's like Donkey Kong Springs. They do! They do! Bouncing springs that are oh, on like the great. second level. I really hate that. Ah, oh, oh, there's the so many bouncy so balls! So many robots! So many bouncy balls. Get them quick before they multiply. Gosh, they're moving so fast! Help me! There's no clear so path! Fast. Boo! Oh no! That was not so great. No. A wave more. eight, mind you, but. Oh, we're on standard. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep on standard. Yep, standard. Left, please. Thank you. Come here. It's just dad and mom, right? Dad, dad mom, mom, and Mikey. And Mikey I think, yeah. yeah. I think that was a pretty popular name in, uh, in this era for kids. Mike. Like so life, life, life cereal, you know? Yeah. It's Mikey, he likes you. 
<laughs> and literally, there were a lot of mics. In, yes, in there were. Era. Like everybody oh. in the class, like four or five mics. Four mics and like six Jennifers, you know. Come up with an original name, parents. <laughs> Come on. I'm pretty sure there were quite a few Jameses around too. Nope. No? no. Not a lot of Jameses. Always the only James. But need a path. Path down, please. Down, 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 down. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I see James, James in every class. Just it's the only James. Yeah, thank goodness. I wouldn't say there were a lot of Tanyas or Tanyas, but I knew some, but not in my classes. Like it wasn't so popular that I was sitting in a class with, with, somebody a, with else? someone else with those names. So it, it wasn't. An unpopular name, but it wasn't a popular name right. either. Jennifer's? Yes. Jennifer's. So many Jennifer's. So, so many Jennifer's. Every, every. Like, there's definitely trends. It's always interesting to look at trends, too. Yep. Yeah, I love looking at name graphs over time. Uh, it's like, what's the kind number one name? Yeah. In this year, and then this year, and this year. You go back a hundred years, like I don't know. Yes. Yeah. I was one of three. Shoot. I was one of. Th <laughs> sorry, I was uh, reading the chat. I was one of three Jasons in a four-person oh, classroom. Jason, Jason was oh was very God. common. Christian too. A lot of Chris's and Christians Chris. in my classes. Yes. Yeah. Chris, Jason, and Mike. Chris, Jason, knew, Mike. Yes. I knew a bunch of Jasons. Michaels. I knew a bunch of yeah. Mikes. My mom almost named me Christian, too. I knew, only knew one Christian. People don't name their kids Christian on their birth certificates and, and then call them Chris, do they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's, that's not, like, official uh, shoot. Oh, I'm trying to shoot to the left, but it's not. <laughs> it's, like, ever so slightly. It keeps, keeps going uh, diagonally. There's a little bit of sensitivity to that. Um, but it was always just Chris Christopher it was the longest. Christopher and Christian, Christian. both. Christopher, I, actually, not many Christophers. A lot of Christians. I don't well. know. I know. Yeah, there, there were definitely a few Christians. Hmm. Better, do better, do better. My mom al al almost named me Christian too. If I had been born, a, born a boy, I would have been Alexander. Mm, Alex's not too many Alex's. I remember hey. a couple Alex's, um, but it was not popular. But I would have been Al I would have been Alexander, mm. and my sister would have been Martin. Why wouldn't she be Alexander? Uh, no, they didn't want they didn't the want female her. version of it. Oh. They like they like Tanya, which would be then be British. Yeah. Uh, Tanya is my technically yeah, just Tanya. what my yeah. Well, no, just no. Tanya. <laughs> um, I can't call you Tanya. No. Uh, so many. <laughs> uh, many. <laughs> which somehow changed at some point in my life, and I don't really uh, remember how. But <laughs> your fault. You gave it is up. My fault. Gave up correcting people. That's true. Yeah. Um, she introduced herself to me as Tanya, and my parents were very upset. And I called her Tanya in front of her parents, who called her Tanya. They're like, that's not the name. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me. Blame so your daughter. Yeah, it's true. I don't even remember Shoot! what it is. Anyway. Um, Clear path down. Ah, uh, the robots. The robots are coming. Ah. Ran right into them. Slater. Christian Slater. Yeah, not many famous Christians. Just Christian Slater. I don't know why. It was quite a popular name at my school. You're not paying attention. I am paying attention. <laughs> You're the one who's not paying attention. Mm. <laughs> I'm not uh, running into things. Slater. I'm getting shot by things. David, David. We have oh, tons of Davids. God, so there were there was like David H and David. Right, right. Oh my God. David H and David this and David that. And they had to wear different colored hats in the classroom. <laughs> like there were so many Davids. 
David, David with the red hat. David with her black hat, and yeah. Uh, uh. I think of girls' names other than Jennifer. I don't remember any of them being too. Debbie, there were a few Deb Debbies and Debras, but I, mm, I don't no remember Debbies. it being that. I ran into that. I don't know what my female name would have been. No, your mom never told you? Or no, never bought I never asked. You early, maybe early on you were a boy and didn't bother? That could be it. Just they didn't bother thinking of names till it was time. Oh. It's very hard this level if you don't get them quick and fast. Another, another round. Okay, one more, do one it more. better. Look at that 99. We have to break 100,000. Yes. It's required by law <laughs> that you have to get 100,000 in Robotron. Jackson is big now. Really. Well, Jack, I find... Jack, yeah. I find the um, names now are very different than what they were. A lot of people have, tr have been, I think, trying for really unique names? Yes. I think it's more diversified now. Yeah. Rather than the traditional Bible names. Christian Bible names. A lot of those. I mean, mine's one. Jackson, Connor. Um, I know a lot of young Julia's, actually. That's not a popular name now. Doing terribly. Oh, it's two lives left? We're on the third wave. Yeah. RC Sam say Jackson is big now what we named our first son. Look, you're not even looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Trying to read Good too. Job. They had three Jacksons in, in his fourth grade. Oh my yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Wow. Because they usually come about with somebody famous, right? Sometimes, but not necessarily. I think I think a name is seen as unique and then a name is seen as unique, seen as unique, and then everyone goes, "Oh, that's unique!" And then everyone names her. I want to be unique name. too. Like my my <laughs> sister's name is Emma. Emma became really popular after Friends because um, Jennifer Aniston's character named her daughter Emma. Uh. But interestingly, my Emma, my sister, no one was named Emma. Like it, it was a very British name. My and my mom's British, and so so she was a unique. Uh. That was a very unique name. And then it became insanely popular in like the nineties. There are a lot of a lot of people that their kids ever. Terrible. Haha, <laughs> we picked one for a second, but we don't use it in public. Yeah, that's that's a fair thing to do. Yeah. You don't wanna know. You don't tell people. Yeah. Read a lot of time, don't tell people till the baby is born the name. Because yeah. then they can't say, Oh, that's a bad name, because the baby's right in front of you. Help! Left or right? Shoot, I shoot, shoot! Both. I was doing both. That was you kept terrible! Moving. You kept moving! That's terrible. See? I'm trying to like, go left and right, and sometimes it just sticks with the diagonal. Is that what was happening? No. Oh. I thought you were I was waiting positioning for you to yourself. I was keeping it going one way. Oh. So that you would know how to move. <laughs> God, they infected a whole bunch of them all at once. Very quickly. 
so much going on. No, this is not on Atari Age. There's a demo on Atari Age uh, forums that you can download for this. This one is a work in progress exclusive for Zero Page Homebrew. Yeah, this is an unlimited levels version. One direction. Just tell me where. Head down. Just. I was trying to, but there's so much blocking. There's so much blocking. Yeah. Down, 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 down. I'm, I'm literally hitting it down. It's definitely having some issues with that. Yeah, I think the demo goes to level ten or five, any direction. <laughs> oh, no. I was hitting down. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. If, if. If there's not enough space, you can't, you can't, you don't have time to clear that. It's not like I can spray in a circle. Boo! We were doing way better last time. <laughs> we were. Okay. Okay. We're done. Okay. <laughs> million joysticks on the ground. Oh, loaded up with chocolate cake and hazelnuts. Yum. 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 Yummy cake. I think five and repeat. I think I think that's true. I think that's what it goes up to. Gives you a good feel for it. Um, so let's take a look at what is coming up. RC seventy is dominating the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, next episode uh, is on Sunday. Uh, I've got Dive Kick and Stella Sketch that I could change. We'll see. Um, but those are coming up, those games. And then in uh, then in two episodes' time, we have Amoeba Jump for Harmony Games Round 3. Mm. At the end of June, we've got a spotlight on Thomas Yanch, and we're going to be having him live on the show. Oh, nice. And we'll be running through all of his games. Nice, nice, nice. Um, building up to the release of Robot City, his new game mm. that's coming out in July. So he's uh, going to be at the end of June. Don't know exactly which date yet. Okay. We're going to be doing it early in the day, so it's probably going to be a Sunday. Okay. Um, or whatever early day that we have mm. that, that might change around. Um, if Erlen's back by then, mm. we might switch it to the Wednesday, which is that, that day is an early day. Yes. It used yes. to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now Wednesday's late and Sunday's early. What did we do? We did Friday. What days? No, we did Fridays and Wednesdays early. And then every second Friday was late. That's what it was before, right? Mm. Yeah. So most of them were early. Programmer spotlight specials on zero page homebrew coming up. Yes. Yes. We <laughs> do have some. The first, uh, first one's going to be Thomas Yench. Um, we kind of did, it wasn't a spotlight on um, John Champo. It was just a release of Robotron. Of Robotron. So that wasn't yeah. a spotlight. Spotlights are going to be different where we're going to run through all of their games. And then talk a bit about the, the development, that kind of thing? A bit of development on yeah. each one. Talk a little bit of each one. Yeah. Play a little bit while they're Ooh. on the chat. Nice. And it'll be just the whole episode. Yeah. Pretty much the whole episode, I think, going to be dedicated to that one person. Mm. So we'll revisit John again and go through all his games. Nice. And we try, we're try. we going to try and time it up with some big event. If, if not, it doesn't matter. Like a release, new release of their game or a release of their game on cartridge. Um, so a couple other spotlights. We're going to have Dan Kitchen. His games are going to be released in the fall nice. or winter this year. Yep. So we'll be doing one on him. Yep. Uh, we'll be going back to... 
original 2600 games for that one. Mm. Uh, and then uh, ending it with Gold Rush. Nice. Um, and we'll do John Champo. We'll do a uh, Daryl Spice Jr. one um, if he wants to come on. He's he's been on the a chat before, so um, I'm okay. sure he's. He, I think it was on the award show or something. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I'm sure he'll be fine. I've, yeah, <laughs> I've seen him on <laughs> video spoken. before. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I don't want to speak for him. No. And we'll be talking to other other game developers, mm -hmm. too. Maybe we can talk to Dianoid again. He's yeah. obviously fine on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll get him. Um, and this this way we can have these people and get interviews with them because, you know, PRG isn't on this year. And some of these people live really all over the away. place. Yeah. Uh, really far away. We're lucky to get, enough to get Dianoid. Yeah. Um, interviewed last year on PRG. But we'll be doing more of that. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've got lots of suggestions for people that people want, and people can make suggestions too mm. for spotlights. They don't have to have a a game out now. Maybe it was a programmer who was active a while, a while back. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, there's going to be a spotlight on Joe Grisafi, who is actually a filmmaker, and he's made three Atari 2600 games mm. um, based on three of his films. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so I've got that. I don't that's know when neat. that's going to be. And that's going to yeah. be in conjunction with the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 4. Yeah. Um, which uh, Arena Foot does. Brian Mathern. Yes. And I have one of the um, sections at the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. What is Homebrew? Mm -hmm. And I'm revising the one that i had in his other books so it'll be a new one uh joe knight yes so we'll be talking with oh hopefully talk with joe i haven't asked him to be on the show but at least we'll be going to be doing a spotlight oh on nice him that yeah night. good stuff yeah but as a filmmaker i'm sure he's done many talks mm. uh at screenings yes. so i'm sure he would be fine talking about his movies and his games that would be very cool but i have to ask him mm. Uh, Robotron is amazing that the 2600 is still only using two sprites. Mm -hmm. That is tr very cool. It's using two sprites and the play, f it actually is using the play field a lot yeah. in, in that game. I'd like to see a, re a review play of Bigfoot Family Rescue and, and Princess, Princess Rescue. Rescue. Um, we've done Princess Rescue. We've we? completed Princess Rescue. Yeah. We yeah. won the game. Yeah. Um, I have not seen or played Bigfoot Family Rescue, so please message me about that. Yeah. Um, on the Atari Age forums, if you're on there, and if you're not, message me through some other means. Yeah. Um, YouTube or email James, <laughs> James at zeropagehomebrew.com, and I'll take a look at that. Cross Dock. Cross Dock. Cross Dock. I think that's a that's previous the one we played, discussion. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so think that's about it for now um and we'll be back on sunday for more games thanks for hanging out yes. everyone shoki 1968 that's a new name thanks yeah. for hanging out arena foot ice post rc7e uh mk smith captain classic s ramirez 2008 uh hen house harry Ice john von Busta. newman Kev Kelly, uh, VHZC, thank you so much for making yep. that new game. It was a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for more levels after that first boss. Mm -hmm. uh, Prow7, Scott of the Hall, uh, Hoopy Mac. Who else? I think we hit uh, the limit on the names now. We did. MK Smith. I think so. Yep. Uh, Joe Grisafi can join Laughing Boy and Dead of the Night Homebrews. All three movie tie in games. Mm. Yes. Email. Thanks. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Email me about that Bigfoot Family Rescue. That's cool. Um, so, like I said, we'll be back Sunday. Make sure you subscribe and like all the channels Instagram, Facebook. People are talking to me on Twitter now. Crazy. Really? Yeah. Twitter Something. was kind of dead for a while. Yeah, I didn't really use it, but there's a bunch of people on there that yeah. like uh, Atari 2600, so yeah. maybe I'll put a little bit more yeah. uh, effort into that one. Yeah. So thanks for joining us, and we will be back very soon with more games. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.